What's up brand builders, Stephen Horahan here at brandmasteracademy.com and in this video you're going to learn how to speak to your clients about budgets so you can filter out those that can afford you and convert more that can. Now if you're new to the channel and you want actionable brand strategy tips and techniques to grow your business, well then click on the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be well on your way. Now talking about budget is not something that freelancers and designers tend to enjoy. It's certainly not something that I enjoyed early on in my freelance career anyway and it's something that I have avoided for a long time. I kind of tiptoed around putting a system in place or really having a system. I just tended to avoid the question but what tended to happen there was that I ended up taking on jobs that were below what I expected to be paid or I ended up wasting a lot of time talking with prospects who really couldn't afford my services. Now in my experience I've broken my prospects down into three categories that's the budget shopper, the value hunter and the future client and what I did was I developed a system to be able to filter out the ones that weren't a good fit for me and to bring more in that were. Now the budget shopper we've all come across, they're the prospects that ask you very quickly in the conversation how much for, so how much for a logo, how much for a website. The value hunter is a little bit more difficult to spot because they're gonna sit with you on the phone for as long as you will give them time and essentially what they're trying to do is to get as much value from you as possible without putting their hand in their pocket. And then the final type of prospect is your future client. So these are the ones that you're really looking for. So you need to have a system in place that really helps to identify this type of clients while filtering out the other two. Now for the most part, your prospects won't raise budget straight away and they'll leave that entirely to you, which is why you need a system in place to really bring them along your sales process and introduce them to budget at the right time. So I'm gonna run you through my process and hopefully you can take that into your own business. Number one, define your approach. Now before you get to the point of talking about budget, you need to understand how you're gonna charge for your services. Now there's two schools of thought here. There's the value-based approach and there's the cost-based approach. So the value-based approach, you might have heard Blair Ennis or Christo from the future talking about this value-based approach. And essentially here, you're looking to gather some information from your client as to what their goals are, what their monetary goals are from the work that you're doing. And then you charge them a percentage of what their goals are based on those goals. So for example, if they wanted to earn $100,000 in revenue from the work that you've done, then you might charge 10 to 20% of that, i.e. 10,000 or $20,000. Now the cost-based approach on the other hand is all about knowing your numbers in terms of what a project is going to cost you as a business. So what is your logo going to cost you? What is your website gonna cost you? What is a brochure design going to cost you? So you can cost up these individual jobs and you don't necessarily have to do this based on your own costs. You can go out and get external costs so you know as a business what other services are charging and then base your costs off of that. But once you know your costs, you can add your profit margin to those costs, and that essentially is what you're going to charge. Number two, guide them through your sales process. Now, when you jump on the phone with a prospect, one of two things is going to happen. Either they're going to take control of the conversation, or you're going to take control of the conversation. Now, if they take control of the conversation, your chances of converting them into a client significantly drop because they're going to ask the questions that they want to ask and you're not necessarily going to be able to guide them down the direction that you want them to go. If on the other hand you take control of the conversations and you ask the right questions then you draw out the correct information that you need to frame what value you offer. So it's really important that you have a system in place here to take control of that conversation. Now at a very minimum here you need to ask some basic questions about their business. What is it that they do? What goals are they trying to achieve? And what do they believe they need? And how are they going to judge their success? Now, these are just basic questions. And from this point, you may have enough information here to be able to go and give them a price. And this is where the balance is, because if you only ask a few questions, you don't really get an opportunity to earn trust. But if you ask more and more questions, you're really going down the road of a discovery session. So it's really important here that you personally, you get a system that works for you to be able to ask enough questions to get the information that you need, 
but to also demonstrate that authority, that expertise, and to really earn trust. And if you do this well, if you get the balance right, then the costing that you put in front of them will be better received. Now, this is a fine balance here. Remember, those value hunters are out there, and they'll sit on the phone all day with you hoping that they're going to get some value without having to put their hand in their pocket but at the same time this might be that future client that you're talking to so you need to get that balance right of taking the time to nurture them over the phone and to ask the right amount of questions so that they can see that you know what you're talking about they can see that expertise and authority and that you are the one they need to do business with number three introduce your price with bracketing now what you wanna do is you wanna speak about your price verbally. You wanna speak about their budget verbally. You don't just wanna jump off the phone and send them over a proposal because they've given you no commitment at all and they're far less likely to take you up on what it is that you're offering them. What you're really looking for here is a verbal commitment. Now, it's not a verbal commitment to do business with you. It's just a light verbal commitment that you are in fact within their budget. So what you want to do here is introduce your price with bracketing. So what is bracketing? So this is a way of putting a broad price range in front of them and really getting them to commit to that price range being within their budget. So for example, here you might say, typically for this work, we charge between 30,000 and $10,000. Now, of course you adjust this for your business and the types of clients that you're going after. Maybe it's not 30 to $10,000, maybe it's 15 to $5,000, or maybe it's 100 to $20,000. It really depends on your positioning and the types of clients that you're going after. Now there's a couple of psychological principles at play here. First of all, the anchoring technique. By putting that high number first, you're setting in place in their mind an anchor as to what your services really cost. And then when you introduce the lower level of that price bracket, it will seem a lot more affordable to them. So within this technique as well, you also have the contrast principle. So by placing that high ticket number first and then introducing the lower ticket number afterwards, then the contrast between the two seems greater as well. So you're using both the anchoring technique and the contrast principle here. Now, once you put that price in front of them, you wanna ask them a very simple question. Does that sound within your range? And then you wanna shut up. You wanna give them time to come back and answer. If you interrupt them first before they've come back and given you that answer, then you'll have jeopardized your own efforts. What you want from them here is a commitment that yes, it is within their range. And that really increases your chance that when you do put a proposal in front of them later on, they will go with that proposal. The key here is that verbal commitment that yes, this price range is within their budget. Now, if it's not within your budget, well then that's okay because what you've done is you've filtered out a client that you don't want to work with. You only wanna work with clients who can afford your services and if your price is not within their budget, then you will have saved yourself a huge amount of time. Now, it's also worth noting here that it's very valuable to have somebody in the background ready that you can refer them to because you're helping them out here and you're really coming across that you're genuine, that you genuinely want to help them out in achieving their goals. Even if you can't help them personally, that you have a direction for them to go and you have somebody who can help them. And step number four, send your proposal. Now, this is where you go into detail about what you're delivering here and your line items in terms of cost. And you don't want to do this over the phone. You don't want to go into details about each and every line item over the phone. You really just want to talk price ranges and to get that verbal commitment. And then later on, you send your proposal through and that will have all of the relevant detail there. Everything that you've discussed, all, all of those deliverables and line items and individual costings. Now, because you've gotten that verbal commitment from them earlier, they're far more likely to follow through on that. They believe in their mind now that your proposal is affordable because they've told you it's affordable. They've told you it's within that range. So that's why you really wanna get that commitment to that price bracketing earlier on before you send that proposal. Now, no matter how you feel about this, there's absolutely no getting around it. You need to be able to speak to your prospects about budget. You need to be able to speak to them about price and you need to have a sales system in place because you have a business, you need new clients, so you need a system to bring those clients in. If you take the time to develop those skills and learn how to discuss budget and pricing with your client, you might even get good at it and grow your business. But I would love to hear from you as to your experience with pricing. Have you come across those types of prospects before the budget chopper, the value hunter, and what is your experience with these types of clients? How do you deal with these types of clients? If you've got any questions 
at all or challenges in relation to pricing or talking about budget, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well. It'll let you know when I've got new videos out. And if you want more exclusive tips and techniques like this, then head on over to brandmasteracademy.com and sign up for the list. It is free and I will drop those techniques right into your inbox. But as I said, please let me know in the comments below what your experiences are. I'd love to hear from you. I'd do my best to answer all of those questions. Until next time, brand like a master and I will see you in the next video.